World leaders are worried that Donald Trump's time in the White House may have permanently damaged democracy, European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen said during her speech at the Davos Agenda Summit on Tuesday, highlighting the wariness among global leaders about the long-term effects the former president's agenda. Several heads of state from all over the world reacted with shock and horror after a mob of Trump supporters violently invaded the U.S. Capitol on January 6. German Chancellor Angela Merkel said the scenes of the riot made her furious and sad, while she rebuked Trump's refusal to concede, stating, doubts about the election were stoked, and that set the atmosphere that made the night's events possible. French President Macron also expressed concern about supporters of an outgoing president taking arms to challenge the legitimate results of an election. Several people who participated in the violence had used social platforms like Facebook and Twitter to organize and many of them even broadcast their actions live from inside the Capitol building. Public outrage against the mob violence led to the removal of several prominent participants of the riot from social platforms. Facebook and Twitter eventually moved to shut down the former president's accounts due to the risk of further incitement of violence. In December, the EU unveiled two sets of sweeping proposals that target big tech companies like Apple, Google, Facebook and others with threats of billions of dollars in fines for either anti-competitive behavior or their failure to tackle illegal content. One of the two sets of proposed legislation, called the Digital Services Act DSA, will allow the regional bloc to impose fines of up to 6% of a company's global revenue for failing to take down illegal content such as hate speech, terrorism, child pornography or the sale of illegal or counterfeit products. Democracy could have been damaged forever in the last four years, EU chief says, CNBC, utterly horrifying, more world leaders react to mob violence in US Capitol, Forbes.